The Supreme Court today upheld the death warrant of Yakub Memon, the sole death row convict in 1993 Mumbai blast case. A three-judge bench of the Apex Court dismissed Yakub Memon's curative plea, saying that there was no procedural lapse and that the earlier bench was appropriately formed. Memon is the sole death row convict in the 1993 Mumbai blast case. Meanwhile, Maharashtra Governor Vidya Sagar Rao has rejected Memon's mercy petition. Mortal remains of former President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam have arrived at his hometown Rameswaram from New Delhi in a special aircraft. The special chopper has reached Rameswaram helipad. Union Urban Development Minister M. Venkaya Naidu and Defence Minister Manohar Parikar accompanied the mortal remains of Dr. Kalam. Minister of State for Shipping, Pond Radhakrishnan, who is from Tamil Nadu, also joined the two union ministers. Former President's body will lie in state at Kilakadu till 7 p.m. for public to pay homage. Former President to be accorded state funeral with full military honours at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that creating new institutions to nurture science and technology will be the best honour for the scientist President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Prime Minister said light from this Ratna will guide us towards his dream destination, India as a knowledge superpower. He wrote article in leading newspapers paying tributes to former President. Prime Minister said Dr. Kalam epitomized the three great virtues of our civilization, self-restraint, sacrifice and compassion. He commended Dr. Kalam's understanding about the need for a strong and secure nation. He highlighted Dr. Kalam's views that poverty can be countered with wealth of knowledge. Prime Minister underlined inclusive economic growth in pursuit of Kalam's ideals. World leaders paid glowing tributes to former President Dr. Kalam, hailing him as an inspirational figure and lauding his scientific achievements. U.S. President Barack Obama says Dr. Kalam's humility and dedication to public service served as an inspiration to millions of Indians and admirers around the world. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said Dr. Kalam was a rare combination of a great statesman, acclaimed scientist and a source of inspiration to the young generation of South Asia. Nepal Prime Minister Sushil Koirala said Nepal has lost a good friend. Supreme Court has dismissed Centre's curative petition upholding the commutation of death sentence of three convicts involved in the assassination of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi in May 1991. The Apex Court had earlier said that it was essential for the convicts to suffer and realise the victim's pain through slow poison. The Apex Court asked the Centre if a governor can take a decision over the mercy plea of any convict whose petition has been declined by the President. In Gujarat, Air Force helicopters and army have been pressed into service after flood like situation in Banaskanta and Kutch districts. Incessant rainfall caused by a deep depression lashed many parts of the state, leading to death of 25 persons over the past few days. Chief Minister Anandi Ben Patel reviewed the relief and rescue work in a high level meeting at Gandhi Nagar. Whistleblower bureaucrat Sanjeev Chaturvedi and Anshu Gupta, founder of NGO Goonj, are among the people who have been awarded Raman Maxasse Award for 2015. Sanjeev Chaturvedi is an Indian Forest Service officer and currently the Deputy Secretary of All India Institute of Medical Sciences. Anshu Gupta founded Goonj in 1999 after leaving his corporate job to start the organization. Amid continuous disruptions by opposition members, Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan has convened an all-party meeting tomorrow to discuss better functioning of the House. Proceedings in the House have been virtually washed out in the monsoon session so far. The meeting comes close on the heels of Congress members showing placards in the House despite being warned not to do so. Punjab police officer Baljeet Singh, who was killed in terrorist attack in Dinanagar on Monday, was cremated 7 in 2012 when Louis Berger Company reportedly paid the bribe. Three CRPF Jawans, an officer and three civilians have been injured in a grenade attack by militants in Anathnag district of South Kashmir. According to police, militants lobbed a grenade on a CRPF party in Ghazi Bagh area near KP Road, Anantnag, leaving five people injured. The injured have been admitted to a hospital and the area has been cordoned off and a hunt has been launched to nap the militants. Commander-in-Chief of Defence Services of Myanmar, Senior General Ming Ong Liang, today called on Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi. Senior General Yu Min Ong Liang appreciated India's role as a reliable development partner for Myanmar. According to a report published by a daily USA Today, ISIS is preparing to attack India to provoke an Armageddon-like confrontation with the US. The report refers to a 32-page Urdu document obtained from a Pakistani citizen with connections inside the Pakistani Taliban. The document, according to the report, was independently translated into English by a Harvard scholar and verified by several serving and retired intelligence officials. 
BCCI has refused to revoke the ban on former India pacer S. Sant and spinner Ankit Chavan in the wake of a Delhi court dropping all charges against them in the IPL 2013 spot-fixing case. Talking to reporters in New Delhi, BCCI Secretary Anurag Thakur said that there will be no rethink on the life ban of the two cricketers. He said the earlier decision of BCCI's disciplinary committee ban on the case will stay on.